If you're anything like me, you play around with Elementor endlessly, trying to find the perfect design. But then maybe you realize you don't want that template anymore, you don't want that theme anymore, and you want to delete absolutely everything that you've done in Elementor. Well, let's find a seat and I'll tell you how to get it done in a minute or two. All right, here we go. So here we are on my website and as you can see, I thought I had some cool ideas for like this brutalist design, but it didn't work, right? So I just wanna just take all my Elementor styles and like get rid of them. So here's how you do it. There may be two places that you wanna look to get rid of all of your styles. So the first one is your Elementor templates. If you hadn't he haven't heard of templates, I use templates a lot from the Envato Marketplace. So you're just gonna go to this templates and you can get templates from wherever, but you just select them all here and you do move to trash. And you can see I ha the error came up because I actually did it before. But let's pretend here, like here's another one that's still there. Edit, move to trash. And just go ahead and delete it. You can keep your settings um, because that's, it's fine. So your templates, even though it said error, I guess we can just ignore that. So now we go back to my page and that is the only change that I made is I removed those templates and so we can see here that, you know, I need to go in and I need to change my link style and that kind of thing, but it is a completely different website, right? It's a pretty naked WordPress install because it's now taking not Elementor styles, it's taking the styles of the theme that I have uploaded. So that there is one really fast way to get rid of, you know, this is what it used to look like, a single blog post because, you know, I wasn't very patient. And now that template that was there is still, you know, not great. I need to work on things, but it's getting better. Just to make sure that you've cleared out all the Elementor styles, I recommend going to Elementor settings in the WP admin dashboard, and then you'll see exactly what is controlled with Elementor, as well as if you click this box, it means that either the theme styles are trump the regular Elementor styles or vice versa. So this, by having it checked, it means that it, Elementor is taking in the styles of my theme, not that Elementor overrides it. So, and then the default fonts, that is a good one. And then the last thing you'll want to do is go and to the WordPress uh, admin, go to any page, it doesn't really matter which, and go ahead and edit it. And then the site settings used to actually uh, be in the WordPress admin. They're not there anymore. Now you go to this hamburger and you go to, you know, you can go to theme builder and this is where your theme is created as well as here. Oops. So here we have site settings and you can see these global colors and all of that so remember though that checkbox controls whether or not elementor styles are being inherited or not so i hope that's helpful if you have any questions let me know i'm getting ready to release a how to build a job board with wp job manager and elementor so if that interests you subscribe to the channel if you have any other recommendations for videos on digital marketing or anything like that also just let me know and subscribe and i will see you soon thanks bye